As Yoel dropped off one of his children at a Williamsburg school, he's concerned about the recent measles outbreak. You have to obey the doctors. If the doctors say you gotta, you gotta get some vaccinated, then you have to take the vaccine. According to the city's Department of Health, there have been 204 confirmed cases in Brooklyn and Queens over the last few months. In Brooklyn, the Williamsburg neighborhood had 151 cases, 48 in Borough Park, two cases within Midwood and Marine Park, and one case in both Bensonhurst and Brighton Beach. In Queens, there was one confirmed case in Flushing. Though anyone can contract the disease, the health department says most current cases are within the Jewish community. There is a large anti-vaccine movement throughout the country. And therefore, I think that what we're seeing in the Orthodox Jewish community specifically is just a microcosm of what's going on throughout the country. Dr. Joseph Kaplovich is a pediatric specialist at NYU Langone. He says one issue is that parents believe a myth that a vaccine will do more harm than good. The anti-vaccine movement in general has this just belief that by, that by giving the vaccine, I'm going to danger my own child. And that becomes a very hard thing to try to fight. But he's fighting back by raising awareness about the lengthy list of symptoms. Starts off as fever, um, usually it's high fever, you're talking about like 104, 105, cough, congestion, runny nose, um, red eyes, they get what's called conjunctivitis. And it's also, it comes with a head to toe rash. Just last week, the Vatican's Academy for Life said Catholic parents should vaccinate their children for the good of their family and community. Besides the vaccine, Dr. Kaplovich says you can prevent measles by washing your hands and covering your mouth when you cough. Parents like Yoel, who vaccinated all eight of his children, want others to do the same. The people that don't give vaccine, uh, I can't, I don't know, I don't, I don't mix in people's, you know, people's lives. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Tim Harfman, Currents News.